Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about the Zentec Review Tools interiors for Bluebeam Review. This is a tool set and profile within Bluebeam that contains pre-built tools uh, designed for estimating and takeoff use. Uh, these are just some simple tools. Uh, in this case, this is all for interiors. This tool set contains eight different tool sets. We have bath, which contains several tools inside of it. Casework, demolition, doors, finishes, kitchen, lighting, and windows. I'm going to be going over each of these in a little bit of detail, along with some other functions of these tools, including the layers and also uh, the custom columns that go along with them. So let's go with bath. So this just gives us some basic counting tools uh, within Bluebeam for anyone that hasn't used Bluebeam before. Uh, counting tools are just used to count. So we have uh, any type of bathtubs, showers, double sink, single sink, toilet, urinal, medicine cabinet, and exhaust fan. Let's move on to casework up next. These again are mostly all count tools. However, at the very end, there is also a linear feet tool. So again, I'm just gonna be placing all of these just down on a drawing just in the top right. Again, typically we would place these on the plan. And I'll do that for the case of the casework here. Uh, for example, if we had casework along Maybe this back wall right here, we could just click from one side to another, 32 feet right here, and we have linear casework. We have our basic demolition tools, uh, which is included in other tool sets as well. So again, demo area, should you want to demolish any type of area, a line, Count object to demo and a volume useful for any demolition of concrete or doing any spoils or anything like that. We also have door takeoffs, uh, residential, commercial, roll up, high fold, stack door. Door, front door, sliding door, and a simple linear foot uh, for any type of custom doors or anything like that as well. Did you need to do any, any other takeoffs for doors? This also comes with some basic finishes to get you started on any of your takeoffs. Uh, floor finish, so we'll actually go back inside of a drawing here and just do a simple Area takeoff right here. Do another one just randomly over here. A ceiling finish. And one thing to note about anything with a question mark, the intent of that is uh, within Bluebeam, you can change these labels. And instead of having it called ceiling type finish type question mark, you could do, you know, type A. Um, maybe instead of flooring finish type question mark, you know, you could do LVT one, whatever you would like. Again, this is going to give you a baseline. We also have a room number counter. Uh, this one you have to set up a little bit more advanced as this is what is known as a sequence tool within Bluebeam. Uh, to do this, if you just right click on this tool, sequence, define, 
click on yes for that. And you know, any type of prefix, you know, if you wanted to do zero one for your prefix, and then let's just start at 100, starting at, you know, zero one, 100. And we could start placing this down in various rooms to then make sense. We have a linear feet tool to do any transition slip, uh, strips. I apologize for that. Again, with the question mark to allow you to customize and trim finishes and wall finishes. Just draw a random line right there. And same thing with a wall finish. With our wall finish, you actually can give it a height within the measurement properties. It's actually known as depth. Depth and height are used interchangeably within Bluebeam. And this will then give you the total amount of wall area. Uh, you'll see the wall area shortly here when we get down to some of our columns uh, down here. The markups list. Up next, we have kitchen. Again, very similar to some of the other tools we just covered up above. Again, any counts for dishwasher, stove, oven, range, triple sink, double sink, single sink, and refrigerator. These tools, like these counting tools, are great for using the automatic count feature uh, when searching for an image or a symbol within Bluebeam. Uh, if you guys are curious on how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, so you guys can learn a little bit more on that one. We have lighting. Just a regular two by two lighting that one. Uh, shelving, which I don't know why that, I must have accidentally copied that one in there uh, before I did this video, so I do apologize. Light track, light wall, and again, just some uh, basic ceiling fan. Uh, these are best used for, again, residential or multifamily type construction. And last but not least, we have our windows. So any type of custom window, uh, double hung window, single hung window, awning window, basement window, fix window, upper window, sliding window, uh, storefront window as well. And last but not least, we have a linear window or you know, any of your storefronts uh, or anything else that you may need a linear book for. Now, all of the Zentech review tools, interiors, uh, and our other tool sets that we sell uh, are capable of layers. And with this, you can easily turn on and off different types of tools. So I just turned off casework right here. You see all of those tools disappeared. Uh, any type of floor finishes, you'll see these disappear over there. Ceiling finishes. I'll actually just turn everything off just so you guys can see what this kind of looks like with everything off. And turn them back on. All of Zentech review tools also come with some level of custom columns. The interior tool set is no different. For this particular tool set, uh, we include both unit price and a custom cost for the calculation. So for example, if we want to talk about, uh, you know, this wall finish right here, 
you know, maybe we're doing some paint and we have we estimate it's about, you know, 0.25, you know, 25 cents uh, per square foot. It can do a basic, you know, calculation on that. Or again, this refrigerator is going to resume count and maybe add like another five more here. We'll do eight. For this refrigerator, maybe these refrigerators are $800 each. So we could put a unit price in and it's going to give us the total count of our refrigerator. So there's eight of them total. Eight times 800 will be 6,400. But that is a basic demonstration of our Zentech Review Tools interiors. If you guys have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to us on our website or via email or call us.